We're going to start by unlocking the vehicle first. We're going to open the door, then get in. Let's take the key and have a closer look. We can use the first button to open and close all the windows, lock and unlock the car, open the trunk and close it, and we weren't sure about the third button. We're going to turn the system on, then take the key and put it in the compartment on the left side of the steering wheel while pressing the brake. System is active, so let's start off with the steering wheel first. We're going to give it a second. So let's go. On the left side, we find various media controls. Go back and forth, mute and unmute the sound, or change the volume. We have a voice assist that didn't work for us, as well as a phone icon, which did not open the phone menu though. On the right side, different ADAS features. We can switch between different drive modes or switch between different ADAS systems. Make sure to check out our use case section for more. Other than that, not much more to see. So let's move on to the instrument cluster. We can switch between different drive modes. Other than that, the instrument cluster offers no more options to interact. Moving on to the hat unit, if we press the hard key below, we can switch between a horizontal and vertical display position. We're going to have a look at that later on. In the upper part, we find our camera and different camera angles, as well as a 3D surround view. This is one of our highlights. We see different features on the left. Navigation first. We have a very small media widget. Different media sources. Phone. EV feature. Climate, as well as settings. The next thing we're going to do is flip the screen. Press and hold. Switch to a horizontal position. We're going to have a look at the menu again. Not much has changed. Navigation, Media, Media Widget is bigger now on the right, Phone Menu, as well as EV. What is new is the App section on the right, only available if the display is in a horizontal position. We can then open third party applications such as YouTube. However, it's more of a web browser-based application. Moving on to Settings and Climate, back to Home, and then on to the subunit next. The subunit contains climate as well as volume settings. As you can see, the upper part of the subunit is a clickable display while the button in the center is a rotation button. Let's move back up for a second and check the digital rearview mirror. Push forward to turn it on first. We can access the menu, then go through the different options available.
push the mirror back to deactivate it. The gear shift is located behind the steering wheel. Park. The hat unit has to flip back into the vertical position, then we are ready to drive. Reverse, which activates the camera in the hat unit. Neutral, drive, and park. The last thing we're going to do is open the door. Then close it, take the key, and lock the vehicle.